Hey guys, so I have a question for you. When was the last time you thought about your own death? Hey guys, so I know that that may have been a slightly morbid intro, but trust me, thinking about your death daily is a very Catholic Christian thing to do, and in this video, I'm going to explain why. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We talk about everything with a Catholic slant. And if you end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. That's the best compliment you can give me. So I haven't always been this like excited, I guess, about death or <laughs> positive about it. I remember the first time I thought about death, I think I was 13 years old. And I just finished um, probably a Redwall book. Did you guys read those Redwall series when you were a kid? I was, I've always been into kind of the fantasy medieval type books. So anyway, I remember closing the book and having this thought that like my life is like this book and one day it's just gonna end like this book did. And it left me with this really uncomfortable sensation. Like I didn't wanna think about it, I just kinda pushed it aside. And maybe that's how you are right now. But that is not the way Catholics approach death. That shouldn't, and that shouldn't be your feelings either. You shouldn't be afraid of death. Now, I'm not talking about the dying. I'm not talking about the pain and suffering of dying or the idea of the sadness of things like leaving people behind or you know missing out, missing out on experiences. And I get all that. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about thinking about our mortality in terms of being with Jesus Christ for eternity and Mother Mary, and the saints, and the angels, and taking that mass that we love and adore, that we practice every Sunday, or even more than once a week, and getting to live that in heaven. It is a beautiful, beautiful prospect. And so, when you think about death daily like this, it should give you joy. But it also helps to kind of focus in on the activities that you're doing in your day to day. Because you know that we don't know when Jesus is coming again. And we don't know the hour of our own personal death. And you know, like you could get in a car today and some drunk driver could hit you and that could be it. What made me want to do this video is two things. First, I thought about the Hail Holy Queen um, prayer recently. I was describing it to my daughter in, in terms of death and things. And when I first learned the Hail Holy Queen, gosh, I guess I started praying the rosary about a year ago. And before then, my parents just never taught me, my catechism class never taught me. I just, I had no idea how to pray the rosary. So I think I started praying the rosary at the end of 2017. And the Hail Holy Queen was introduced to me. And I was like, whoa, this is the best prayer. I just love it. And what I love about it are these two phrases in there. And one is describing us as being poor, banished children of Eve. And the other one is when they says, you know, us mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. And both of those phrases help you to kind of realize that we are not like meant for this earth. Like I just read the book, St. George and the Dragon, which was so good and I will pin it I'll of course have a link down below. It's gonna be in my favorites. But it does such a good job of talking about how, you know, in this life we are all tasked with fighting our own dragons and we all have purposes for being here. And some people die really young because they've fulfilled their purpose. And other people live to be 108 because maybe they haven't got around to doing their purpose yet or their purpose is so important that they have to keep doing it. But we are banished children of Eve, right? We have been banished from heaven and we are working our butts off in this life, trying not to slip up so we can get back to our true home. And, and this mourning and weeping, this valley of tears, you know, this earth is full of sorrows. There are moments of pure joy. That is great. And, but you know what? That is a glimpse of heaven. That is not like the end all be all. Like in heaven, in our eternity, we will have joy forever. And it will be just beyond anything that we can comprehend as humans in you know flesh and blood here on earth. So when we think about our death daily, it helps focus ourselves on slaying those dragons, on helping the poor, on works of mercy, and on just doing things outside of our own selves and our own will so that we can get to our salvation 
which is the whole point to be with God because God created us us to be with him forever. And this is just kind of like our trial, our test, our, you know, this valley of tears. And so I absolutely love Hail to the Holy Queen because it really guides us towards our mortality, at least in my opinion. The other reason I wanted to do this video is I was listening to Catholic Radio and I, gosh, I really wish I remembered what show it was or what day it was, but they were interviewing a nun. She has been keeping a skull on her desk for 500 days. And I think she's been tweeting about it every single day. And she just came out with a devotional I'll put down below. I think it's on pre-order right now. I just checked out her Twitter page like for to do this video. But she was describing how Catholics in Europe like had skulls around. And it wasn't like a freaky thing, but it was this idea of remembering our death. And there is a phrase, memento mori, remember your death. And that was a Christian practice, practice popular in uh, medieval times but oh my gosh now I really want a skull for my desk too right this, this nun has like started this whole movement where we all have one of skulls on our desk and my daughter's like totally creeped out by it but it's just this constant reminder like hey am I doing what I need to do to get myself to heaven this is why I do this channel you know like if I can help you guys I really think that God's gonna ask me when I get to heaven how many people have you brought with you and I take that very seriously and I want to bring as many of you with me to heaven and that's why I do these videos because if I can change someone's heart, if I can open someone's heart to the faith, to the fullness of truth, like that is why I'm doing this. So she was describing it and she was saying that she was talking about how in the book of Sirach, um, it says in whatever you do, remember your last days and you will never sin, right? So like I've been saying, if we keep our eyes on our death, not like in a morbid way, but like in a joyful way, we will not sin. We will turn away from those vices that that potentially separate us from God because that is the scariest thing, you guys. Like if you really think about your death enough, you will never want to sin because you will be like, whoa, I don't want to do anything that's ever going to separate me from God. And on the flip side of that is the mass and its beauty and how it's heaven on earth. And then there's a whole other video coming out about that once I finish Scott Hahn's book, The Lamb's Supper, because that is a life-changing book. If you have not read The Lamb's Supper, whether you are Catholic or Protestant, because um, Scott Hahn was Protestant first and then he became Catholic, it breaks down Revelation in terms of how Revelation is literally the Mass and how Revelation is describing heaven and how the Mass is heaven on earth. and It's just so amazing. So that will be pinned down below as well. I highly suggest you guys read that book. But that's another video. Uh, another thing that the nun said was she said that the rule of St. Benedict, one of the imperatives was to keep death daily before one's eyes. So again, same thing as the Book of Sirach, right? And then even in the Catechism in 1036, um, it reminds us of the responsibility incumbent upon man to make use of his freedom in view of his eternal destiny. So, I mean, you guys, we just... We need to keep death in the forefront. I remember I recently met somebody who said they hadn't thought about death in 20 years. And I was, I, that was like mind blowing for me. I was like, how in the world have you not thought about death daily? Like it just was like, so, and it was, she was a Protestant and it was just like, I don't, like I don't even know how to comprehend that. Like I just think about my death daily and it, it brings me joy. You know, I went to daily mass today and I thought about my death while I was hanging out in heaven with Jesus, right? And like receiving the Eucharist and it wasn't a bad thing. It's so, it shouldn't be a bad thing. And if you are scared of death, like you need to go talk to your priest because maybe there's something that can change you. Or if you're Protestant and you're scared of death, <laughs> maybe think about joining the Catholic Church because I promise you, once you are Catholic and you fully embrace the church, you will not be afraid of your death when you are in that place. So, this that is my challenge for you. If you have a skull on your desk, please let me know and tell me where you got one because I, I've looked on Amazon and a lot of them are like creepy. Wait, I don't want a creepy skull, I just want a skull, right? Just like a classic medieval skull. So if you find one, please tell me down below. I will post the nuns. Um, I found an article. She was a former atheist actually that became a nun. And then I will also pin her blog post. So you guys, God bless. Um, I just, I want to know your thoughts. If this freaks you out, tell me, but it shouldn't. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.